Did you know there's around 37,000 known near-Earth asteroids, or NEAs? We've even visited a couple of them with Japan's Hayabusa 2 mission and NASA's DART. Exploring more NEAs and increasing our knowledge of these objects will require many more visits, but large missions are expensive. Enter CubeSats. These are very small satellites based on a cube, roughly 10 centimeters on a size, hence the name. This small cube is one unit or one U in CubeSat speak, and one U cubes can be stacked together to create larger satellites. For example, a six U CubeSat uh, constructed from two by three of the smaller units stacked together to carry more payload, do more science, and so on. Typically, CubeSats don't have a lot of anything on board, including propulsion. The whole goal being to go small and light and to allow students and others to learn how to make and launch satellites and do some interesting science without breaking the bank. Could we use CubeSats to visit near-Earth asteroids? There's a super interesting paper in Remote Sensing suggesting a method of doing just that. We know quite a lot about the 37,000 NEAs, including very detailed orbits for most of them. The idea is to park a CubeSat at a nodal point in the orbit of an NEA and simply wait for it to fly by so we can observe it. Getting the CubeSat to the right point in space is a major challenge, but the paper suggests using amazingly efficient ion thrusters. Once you're out in space, ion engines don't require you to carry chemical fuel, and you can power them with solar panels, making them ideal for use with a CubeSat, and allowing you to position your CubeSat to lay in wait for its intended NEA. Given the low cost and size of CubeSat missions, they're often launched on rockets with other payloads as their primary mission, so launch costs are low, in addition to the reduced build cost. The paper also takes a detailed look at the most efficient configuration of ion thrusters for a mission like this, the best way to insert the CubeSat into the required orbit, and provides a potential target list of NEAs. I'll include a link to this cool paper in the description so you can check it out for yourselves. I will see you back here tomorrow.